The MRC uh, with Boeing, a primary sponsor, is dedicated to working with manufacturers from global aerospace companies to local SMEs to improve their manufacturing processes. And I think IoT is that opportunity to connect that physical product in the field back to the people that are creating it uh, in the factory itself. And of course that is about understanding how it's being used, what are your customers doing with it, um, and having that knowledge is going to enable you as a company to make better decisions about what you do with your product. It's about removing uncertainty, improving transparency, and allowing the company to make better decisions. And we've gone from that position a few years ago to now being recognized as one of the leading IoT platform providers in the world. There's a saying in the industry at the moment that if uh, data is the new oil, then analytics are the new refineries. So what we're seeing is, is that the product that you're doing is moving from something that's quite straightforward and simple to now something that's got to go and play in a system of systems. We are one of the uh, UK's leading um, industrial aftercare providers um, in the steam industry. So that's where we're going to then work with the development and with MVMA to actually expand our platform to make it customised to whoever we want. Using that, we can make a breath histogram over a period of time and work out if this patient is deteriorating, if they need a change in their prescription. That's a huge benefit for anybody trying to give some clinical care to a patient. And that's what we're doing here, is persisting the data encrypted at rest through all this route in agnostic to the communications. Now the software is employing a number of machine learning techniques to go through 80% of this data we've given it, this historical data, to try and build up an analytical model to accurately uh, be able to predict compressor decay and turbine decay. My background is in process control and automation and information systems within a number of industries, but the manufacturing industry, the oil and gas industry and the power generation industry. And if we don't do this now, we are going to get left behind. So there's, there is, I think, a good technology push, um, but there's also a market pull. But once the product has left the building, that security doesn't end, right? It's an evolution of security. You need to constantly review the product on a regular basis. Once it's been deployed, understand, is there a new threat vector, is a new attack surface coming my way? based around what our customers are asking for um, to remotely monitor their, uh, their kit on site. You'll see that we've got an anomaly detected on the back left motor due to its high speed. There's a dodgy motor in there which makes the propeller blade go quicker. This is an example of the kind of the edge analytics that we spoke about earlier where we have <coughs> Thing Watcher monitoring individual signals here to actually get a view of what's happening with the product. You have a canvas from where you're creating your apps, a bunch of user interface components on the left hand side, connectivity to business systems or things like the drone on the right hand side and you're just dragging and dropping it in to build your apps. That's how it works. In terms of the augmented reality, exactly the same idea as well. So the, the, uh, the drone assembly experience we just went through, same kind of idea. Drag and drop a 3D model in there, drag and drop sensors into there, bind your sensors to readings from the IoT platform itself. Doing this with authoring without programming and the idea is to make this more accessible to the enterprise. PTC has spent a billion dollars getting the concept right, so should we just work on there and, and making it work for you, right? So let's not prove the concept, that's done, let's, let's prove the value and that's what let's do it in a pilot.